What's up, people? We are back with more of WAS, the Hourglass of Lepidoptera. I believe it is still uh, Christmas, so once again, Merry Christmas if I didn't say it in a previous video. Well, I think I did, but yeah, this is once again pre-recorded because, you know, Christmas is a busy day that we should all spend with our family, but if you have, let's say, 20 to 30 minutes to spare, then I suggest you watch this video of WAS because a lot of things happened in the previous video. Um, yeah, we reunited Higure with her missing boy. We found out that there is sort of a fake Tadayoshi running around. And the most important thing of all is that Mirna is missing. Oh my god, no. So, as we already concluded sort of at the end of the previous video was the fact that we thought that probably fake Tadayoshi, that's just what we're going to refer to him as, fake Tadayoshi, that he probably took uh, Mirna with him because otherwise if it was a stranger Mirna would just yeah as, as I think Alan pointed out she would probably just scream or at least somehow let us know that she was unwillingly being taken away from us rather than you know willingly actually walking away because because she thought that she was going with someone that she would trust and the only person that wasn't there at the church at the moment that she would trust was us, right? So it has to be fake Tadayoshi. But yeah, uh, we had the choice of either asking around at the stalls or ask Nina for help, because she still got a lot of influence. But I'm not sure if that is actually the case, because Nina's from Ger Germany, right? And how does she have influence here? I'm not even sure if Nina's actually still here, so I'm really tempted, just because there's a lot of sort of vagueness around Nina or like insecurities, not, not necessarily insecurities, but just we don't know uh, uncertainties. I guess that's the proper word for that around Nina. So I don't think we can actually rely on her help. N not that she can't provide it, but I just feel like she just doesn't know much about this situation. At least not Nina herself. Lisa not, might know it, but uh, if this, if ask around the stalls, ends up being the wrong option we might get this one eventually again so i think i'm just gonna do ask around the stalls first and it could end in a bad ending but you know what we can always reverse time so we're gonna ask around the stalls <sighs> i get to the stalls as fast as i can I figured a lot of people would be there around now, and I was right. What's your hurry, boy? Drink this and calm down. Ah, th thanks, master. The master of the stall serves me a glass of water, and I drink it in one go. I want to ask you guys a favor. What do you want, boy? I'll listen, depending on what you've got for me. If Tadayoshi Kyun is asking me, I won't demand payment as long as you spend the night with me. Well, isn't that sort of a payment? Not a payment in money, but a payment with my body, I guess. But that is actually much worse. So I'm not going to do that at all. If I spend the night with that meat bag in a jumpsuit, I'm sure I'll lose something important. Yep. Very important. But the situation's too serious to care about that. Do you guys visit the soup kitchens often? Of course. Why would I pass up the opportunity for free food? The woman says first, and everyone else agrees with her. Good. It could be easy to convince them. Do you know a lively little girl from the church? Long, ash-colored hair. Yeah. If you're talking about the girl who even talked to me. Isn't that Myrna? I love her. Oh my god. Here comes a lolicon. I'm not a lolicon. I just like little girls. Isn't that the same? Myrna seems to be popular with them because she greets them all enthusiastically. So, what happened to Myrna? She's been missing since nightfall. Everyone's expressions suddenly grow concerned. Is that an abduction? I don't know for sure, but it's possible. So, Tadayoshi-kun, you're asking all of us to help find Myrna? Yes, please help me find her. I kneel down to the ground, 
begging for their help. I'm not embarrassed to bow my head to them. Finding Myrna is my top priority. I don't hesitate to throw off my pride. I'm closing the stall today. I'll ask others for help. Everyone, start searching for her. Guys, I'm about to cry. I figured they'd help me, but I didn't think it would go so smoothly. We're actually very grateful to the people of the church. Whoever hurts Myrna Chan will go to hell. I swear that on my life. Enough talking. Start searching. The meatbag shouts at everyone and they start to move. Thank you, everyone. Wait, no time to be impressed. I have to visit Lin. Man, <laughs> it's so funny and heartwarming in a way as well as we know what kind of people that these, these slum people are, right? We know what they are and they haven't really changed since the very beginning. Just their, their way of interacting with us has changed. Maybe because they have accepted Tadayoshi as just sort of part of them part of being a person in the slums I guess even though sure a, a huge part of that reason as to why he's become part of that is because of Lin and the fact that we're kind of untouchable because we're under Lin's protection right but still they've somewhat come to accept us as being one of their own and yeah you, you can just sort of tell that despite these people being you know strange and not normal types of people they still um, respect and appreciate things that are being done for them and provide them a little bit of an easier life despite having a lot of difficulties in their life right and that 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 main sort of part of their easiness is the church like the church provides a lot of just i mean free food for people in the slums that have it really tough on a day-to-day -to -day basis that's just such a big deal right so it's just heartwarming, especially on Christmas, you know, to see these people actually give a damn about Myrna and just the church in general. Because for all you know, these people could be bitter, like, oh my god, I have such a tough life. I deserve this, I deserve that. But they don't really think about it that way. They're just appreciative of what they have. They try to survive and yeah. It's just fun to see, I feel. So yeah, ask Lin for help. After taking a deep breath, I run towards to Lin Lin's place. Oh, please be there, Lin. Hey, Lin, are you here? I open the door and shout to see if Lin is inside, but I don't hear any response. She could be out looking for the masked person. Maybe I'll find her somewhere else. She's not in. Nothing I can do about it. There's no point waiting for her here. So I leave Lin's place to look for Myrna. Oh my god, where did she run off to? Lin? I feel like Lin has actually gone out to take matters into her own hands or just sort of take action because of the, our interactions with her in the previous video. Myrna! Answer if you can hear me! I run around the city, shouting Myrna's name. I met some people who helped me look for Myrna, but no one's found her yet. Night falls while I'm out searching for Myrna. Oh my god, she's been out for so long. <laughs> Poor Myrna. Uh, uh, damn, where did Myrna go? This place becomes much more dangerous after dark. I must find her before it's too late. Myrna! 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 My body is getting tired from the search. I'm going hoarse from shouting, but I can't seem to find Myrna at all. I'm becoming increasingly concerned. Oh my god. I don't even know what to expect. Like, we sh I feel like part of me should be ready for worst case scenario, but I don't even want to think about that. While well, Tadayoshi is out for looking for Myrna. Oh, not much progress today. I was going after the masked man, uh, person alone tonight. I recognized that mask, but I didn't tell Tadayoshi about when, we, uh, when he talked to me today. The masked person is the reason I have to live in the slums. I can't believe I might end up meeting them this way. 
Mirna? Huh? Suddenly, I see a girl sliding past me. Huh? Isn't she from... from Rosary's church? A girl with light hair and tin, uh, tan skin. She's so easy to notice. I couldn't mistake her for anyone else. Hey, what are you doing at a place like this at this hour? I don't see Rosary, Tadayoshi, or either of the other kids nearby. And she seems to be tottering along. Something is wrong with her. I think I should talk to her. Her name is Myrna, if I'm not mistaken. I follow her, curious. As Myrna and I reach a dead end, she stops walking and stands still. Hey, what are you doing here? Mm. I talk to Myrna as I catch up with her, but she doesn't respond. Damn, I try to read her mind, but I can't get anything from her. I hear nothing but silence from her mind. Her eyes look empty somehow. I'm sure something's wrong with her. Oh my god, goosebumps, here we go again. Her face looks so blank. Oh my god, what have they done with her? I feel like they've... As unrealistic as they may, as it might sound, that, that they've just sort of sucked the life out of her, sucked the soul out of her, and now she's just, you know, an empty vessel walking around? Could that really be the case? She practically looks like a lifeless doll. I shouldn't leave her as she is. I tried to take her to the church by force, but... Excuse me, would you mind getting your hands off her? I hear a threatening, low-toned voice. Oh my god, it's one of the masked men, I think. He caught me off guard so easily. He must be something special. As I turn around, I find a man in black standing there. I didn't catch his presence. Look at the chain. It's like he's wearing, you know, uh, a keychain, but it's out of like one of those big heavy locks that you put around your bike because you don't want it to be stolen. He could have killed me before I turned around. Isn't he the one Tadayoshi mentioned? No, this is a different one. I've never seen you around here before. What do you want? I have to get her out of here, so I've got no time to deal with ya. His costume helps him blend into the darkness, and his movement is undetectable, even to me. Something tells me the entire or even the entire population of the slums put together couldn't take him down. He's probably a paid assassin. I should avoid confronting him if I can. She must be Lin the Mad Dog about whom my master warned us. So, he is definitely working for someone, otherwise he wouldn't refer to someone as his master, right? Uh-huh. You just thought of your master. Who hired you? Oh, it seems to be true that you can read minds. Ordinary people would be surprised at my response. But he doesn't seem to be shocked at all. He actually seemed to know about us. So his master knows a lot about Lin apparently. And he actually warned this particular man in black about Lin's abilities. So that's why he is not shocked at all. But the only person that we 100% know for sure that knows about Lin's power is the mysterious man, right? Um, he's also the man in black, but I'm just going to refer to him as the mysterious man to avoid confusion. I wonder why he knows about my power. Oh, you know about my power, do you? Isn't your master the weirdo who wears a mask all the time? I try to ask him a probing question. His face is completely hidden, so I can't read it. The man goes completely silent. Not only his mouth, but also his mind. Are they trained to empty their mind completely when it's needed? If so, I really don't want to deal with him. I could take him alone, but with Myrna here, what should I do? I can't leave Myrna behind and run from him. I don't think I could defeat him while protecting Myrna either. But he's alone. I wonder if I can do it. After taking a deep breath, I prepared to fight. I don't need to defeat him. 
I'll buy enough time for Myrna to run. Then I'll retreat with her. Ah! Oh my god, she's actually on attack mode. Swoosh. Whoa. My first strike with my Tonfa almost scratched him. But I expected him to dodge. Rah! I keep on attacking him. Clank. With a high-pitched noise, he blocks my attack with a blade. I see. You use a dagger to fight, huh? And it seems that you've been using it for a long time. How many people have you killed with it? Hmm. The man doesn't respond to my taunt, keeping his silence. Neither he nor I can make a move. It's a stalemate. So because he knows, or he basically confirmed earlier that Lin, Lin can read mind, minds, which is that's why he's sort of taking this approach, right? He's trying to not give away his thoughts. Because he knows that would just be playing into Lin's strength. So obviously this guy is a really highly skilled and trained, I guess, professional killer, assassin. So yeah, dang, this guy is uh, very good indeed. I've been waiting for this moment. Myrna, now is your chance. Run. I shout at Myrna, but... Oh my god, I, oh my god, just just looking in her in her eyes, it looks so... Oh, I got the goosebumps again. What? It just doesn't look like Myrna, it just looks like a lifeless doll, as mentioned earlier. This is just creepy, oh my freaking god. I stay here. That is my order. Myrna refuses to run. Damn, I didn't expect that. Did they do something to her? I can't look at her eyes, it's freaky and creepy. Oh my god. Is she drugged? Or is she some, like, under some kind of hypnosis? Ah, oh, that could be the case as well. Because I think hypnosis was actually mentioned somewhere earlier in the story. If it's hypnosis, it must be the masked person doing it. I am sure that the masked person did something to Myrna. If she'd been drugged, I would at least be able to hear something from her mind. That makes me confident that the masked person put a hypnotic spell on Myrna. Damn it! I shift my stance, then jump away from him. I'll lose if I test my strength against that man. Let's talk about your master, your boss. I guess that the masked person must be Hisui, the Pied Piper. Right? Why does she know of my master's name? I begin to hear voices from his mind, as if he's upset by my words. Seems like I guess right. So, that girl over there heard the flute of the Pied Piper. That's a cheap trick from Hitsui. Typical. The sound from the flute of the Pied Piper causes people to obey them. I don't know how it really works. But it's his Hisui's specialty. Oh my god. How did you know that? Only a few people know of the flute. Thanks for confirming my guess. And I would be one of those few who know about the flute. Which no one should ever have to know about. The man in black is brandishing his dagger. Panicked. Huh? Are you going to slash my arm? and get my tough out of my hand? I can clearly read his mind. Swish! I dodge his attack by turning sideways. By missing, the man lowered his guard. Yeah! Tafa back to the head. Thwack! I hit his face with my Tafa with full force. Ah! Then, when he flinches, I kick him in the belly. Ah! 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 This would be enough to knock any ordinary person unconscious, but he seems to be trained enough to survive these attacks. Rah! I ready my Tafa for another attack, intending to finish him off. Hold on! Huh? I stop as I hear a familiar voice all of a sudden. A voice that I couldn't forget even if I wanted to. Tariyoshi? The, oh, the one I hate so much. Oh no, that's not. I hope that's not Tadayoshi. That would, you know, sort of break all of our fantasies of Tadayoshi and Lin together. 
The one I hate so much, I even hear it in my nightmares. Hisui! So that's Hisui. I turn around and shout her name with all the hate I can muster. Oh wait, it's her? She wears a black suit, similar to the man I fought, and also wears a strange mask. I finally found her. Lin, you look better than I expected. You were so obedient when you were young, but time flies. Ah! I attempt to, uh, attempt to attack Hisui, ignoring the man lying on the ground. Freeze. Don't move a muscle. You don't want to see this girl get hurt, do you? Damn! Hisui presses a knife against Mirna's face. If I try to make a sudden move, she will not hesitate to harm Mirna. So... The mad dog of the slums knows to heal, eh? She is taunting me. Big words from a wimpy little flute player. And you're still as stubborn as ever. It feels like at some point from the way that Hisui is talking to Lin, that Lin actually worked for Hisui or, or was... Uh, forced into working for Hisui or something because they, they obviously ha have some sort of connection right Lin even mentioned that earlier but what kind I have no idea but that's the sort of vibe that I'm getting Hisui raises her hand dang three then a bunch of black uh, men in black come out of nowhere and surround Mirna and me now I'm facing certain death <sighs> am I going down here I used to not care about the lives of others but a hostage situation like this is making me hesitate. I finally met my mortal enemy, but I can't do anything to her. So, what are you going to do with me? You already know what we're doing, going to do, don't you? She's asking me to give myself up. Your mind reading ability is fascinating, so I can't let you die that easily. Hmm. Come on. Don't give me a scary look like that. It ruins your beautiful face. Now, what do you say? Be nice and come with us. Or do you want this little girl to die here? I'll let you choose. Consider it a reunion gift. Okay, so be it. Clank, clank. I drop my tafas to show that I intend to surrender. Wise move. I am rather fond of how awkwardly kind you are. Guys, grab Lin and that girl over there. Remember not to harm them. Damn. The men in black tie me up with rope, preventing me from moving. And they even blindfold me, so I can't see where we're going. Move! Don't take any turns! I walk straight ahead, as instructed. Thump! I hear a car door open. Then the men forced me to get inside. Once I'm inside, the car starts to move. I can't see anything, but I can hear. I concentrate and focus on reading the minds of the people around me in case I get a chance to run. I might be able to get a clue as to where I am from from the minds of the people outside. Mirna! Where are you? Mirna! Hey! Mirna, can you hear me? The people in the slums are looking for Mirna. I guess that boy asked everyone to help him find her. His charisma is way better than my mind reading, I think. It's impossible for me, because I can't just open up to people. I really admire that.